Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Numismatics Anonymous. I've got a quick mail call here. It's a mail call and an educational video. And let's crack this baby open. I wanted to do it on camera. I've been excited about this one and it was hard not to open the package until I had time to um, do a video. So here we go. What we have here, I'm very excited about, is a silver three cent piece. So what you see here is a silver three cent piece from the mid 1800s. In 1851 and through 1853 is this design right here. It is a 75% uh, silver coin and um, the color kind of changes a little bit with the 75% with 25% copper. Uh, later on in 1854 they upped the silver to 90% uh, silver and 10% copper like a standard silver coin was through the 1960s. So what what's up with the three cent piece? Why does it exist? Well there was a demand for this because in um, the 1800s postage actually dropped from five cents to three cents. So this created a demand for a three cent uh, denomination. And uh, what you see here is a six-sided star. This is the obverse, this is the front. And then on the reverse, you see a Roman numeral three surrounded by a C, which I presume stands for cents. This is a three cent piece. Uh, sometimes these are called trimes. If you are uh, searching or, or shopping, you can use the word trimes to maybe broaden your, your search scope. Uh, postage well, was the main driver for this. Um, however, these only ran through the 1860s. And so uh, during the Civil War era, there was a, a hoarding of sil silver going on. And they, they shifted to a nickel production in 1865. And there was a little bit of overlap between the two, between the silver and the nickel. But uh, they eventually tapered off into nickel only. And then uh, eventually in 1883, postage was dropped again to two cents. And it all but eliminated the desire for people to carry these. One of the complaints is that it was so small that it was easy to lose. Um... One of the nicknames for this, it's so small, is uh, fish scale, for obvious reasons. It's about the size of a carp scale or something like that. So anyway, I wanted to share with you guys this cool three cent piece that we got in the mail. If you have any more questions or uh, want a better shot of it, maybe I'll tack some photos on the end. Uh, the particular one you're looking at is variety one. The date is worn off. I can't tell what year this is, but it's between 1851 and 1853, based on the way that the star looks on the obverse. Later uh, design varieties have more lines surrounding the star. So I do know that this is one of the first year issues, which is not necessarily a good thing. It's extremely high mintage those years, so it doesn't make it more valuable since it's an early one. But I wanted to share that with you guys. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you guys have any trimes. So hit the like button, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you again soon on another episode.